do still have my K20Z3 engine. It's good morning. It's about nine o'clock right now. Pretty beautiful day out here in CT. A little chilly for my comfort though. First thing I do before I drive this thing, <clears throat> you guys should do the same as me. So I check my oil and I check my coolant literally every day. I'm just OCD about it. And you can see we are topped off on oil. So I just, real quick before I get into today's video, which is gonna be pretty cool, hopefully I can clear up some questions and, and confusion. I fixed a coolant leak I had on this top hose. What I did was I had to move this hose forward and I had to tighten up that rear clamp right there. And it looks like we still have coolant in our reservoir, so that's good. Well, first thing I'm doing today, guys, I'm heading to Cumberland Farms right now. I'm going to get a hot coffee. I'm back on my, you know, occasional coffee drinking phase. I'm going to bring you guys with me. We might make a few stops. And today I'm going to talk about and clear the air on why I didn't go K20, K24. Be sure to give me a like, guys, down below. It really helps me out and I would appreciate it. I wanna clear some things up today. You know, I get asked a lot, you know, whether or not I'm using my K20 head on my swap or why I didn't use my K20 head. So I wanted to make this video specifically for everybody who's curious because I've gotten a lot of comments asking on like, what's the deal with that? So I'm gonna explain today three reasons why I did not go K20, K24. I got my little sheet that I wrote down some info on here just to remember everything. The number one reason I think this is the most important reason to be honest and that's why I chose this to be number one and the number one reason I didn't use my K20 head is because my K20 head had high mileage all right so it's sitting at about 200k miles right now I guess breaking it down in perspective for you guys I didn't want to use the K20 head due to high mileage as well as I didn't want to have two engines torn apart and trying to figure out what I was doing with everything. You know what I mean? Because I would have had a, a K24 head and I would have had my K20 block. I just didn't want parts everywhere. And I didn't really want to take two engines apart at that time. I've even said this before my K24 swap. The whole purpose of doing this swap was to be a budget build, all right? So taking my K20 head off, you know, it would have been cool and put it on, but I didn't want to just put it on this block with that many miles because who knows what I would have had for issues, you know? So the K20 head needs to be rebuilt, I would say, in my opinion. I mean, I could probably still run it, but I wanted to rebuild it if I used it. And that would have led to, you know, dropping another, you know, who knows how much, thousand, maybe $2,000 plus labor. So I wanted to cap it off the budget build for $2,000. We're banging out number two. Guys, I got my coffee. It's crazy. Every time I drink coffee, I'm like, smile on my face, better mood. I don't know, it must be something in the coffee beans. Second reason why I didn't go K20 head is because essentially, if you take a true VTEC head K24, which is out of the TSX's, uh, the Honda Odyssey Absolutes, the Accord Type S in Japan, and you compare it to a K20, A, Z, whatever, they're literally the same head. There's the same design, same head. There's so much similarities. Under the research that I conducted, I found out that they are very similar, but there are a few main differences. And the number one big difference that they have between the K24 true VTEC head and the K20 head is the VTC actuator. I know that the K20 head will always outflow and outperform the K24 head, but the, the difference is like slim guys. And also the cams are different guys. So the K24 cams are designed for like a low to mid range power output versus the K20 camshaft, which like 
has a higher lift duration for top end power. I pretty much figured, you know, upgrading the VTC on the K24 would essentially give me like a K20 top end feel in terms which it did uh, combined with my three inch exhaust and my RBC intake manifold. So I basically have a K20 head as it sits. I wanna check if my coolant is still intact here because I don't need any like cooling issues or whatnot. So I wanna see if there's uh, more coolant in the reservoir, which there is. It went from the low line to the top line right now. So we should be good. making power too with the cold weather it is 27 degrees out so the cold air intake is really helping this thing breathe all right guys out here don't mind if my hair is all messed up trying to get some exercise i've been doing this thing every day where i want to get out and exercise more and just get into nature some more you know literally my gopro is about to die so hopefully you guys can see me all right so hopefully you guys can see me <laughs> it's pretty cold out. I want to finish this before my GoPro dies. Number three, the K24 head had lower miles on it. All in all, I just wanted to experience the feel of the full K24 long block, you know? And I, I, I was doing research and all the graphs that I seen like with full K24 long box made some impressive, impressive numbers like power and torque. And it really intrigued me to just, you know, run the full k24 long block you know but i guess in conclusion um i guess in conclusion the way to put all this is i didn't want to go too crazy on my first build you know some of you guys know that you know shout out phil shout out a couple other people but i didn't want to go too crazy on my first build and uh you know i was i took a risk with this engine because i didn't even know if i was going to run and I didn't even know if I was gonna like it. So it's mainly why I didn't go with the K20 head and I didn't put the pump on there. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give me a like, drop all your comments down below. Please be sure to subscribe for more content, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. So I want to thank all of you for almost 20K subs, guys. I still want to plan a meet. We're going to figure that out as the time comes. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. I never thought I would make it this far.